And God created the earth and filled it with vegetation and animals of all kinds and species. God then created two human beings, Adam and Eve, who committed a sin because of an evil serpent. God sent them away from Eden. Adam and Eve had two sons, Cain and Abel. One day Cain became envious and jealous of his own brother and killed him with his own hands. God damned him. Generations upon generations of man have walked the earth. As for the humans, some were nomadic and lived in tribes. Others founded cities. The cities were governed by powerful leaders. The tribes were led by a chief, the founder or the heir of a numerous family with his wife, his children, their wives, his grandsons, his nephews, and his servants. Many worshiped Jehovah, but others didn't take care about him and worshiped gods made of stone or wood or worshiped the sun, the stars, and the moon. Noah, where did he go? He's on the hill with the flock. Lord, Lord, don't do this, I beg you. Don't do this. Noah, the wickedness of man is great on earth. I want to wipe off the face of the earth the man that I have created, along with the beasts, the reptiles, and the birds. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that, Lord. I regret having made them, because the earth is now dominated by their violence. Lord, you are right. I know that. But I beg you, Lord, wait a while longer before lifting your just hand. Wait for at least one moon. I will check if there exist a city or at least a tent of righteous men. Noah, my faithful servant, I shall wait. Oh, Noah, where are you? You know I get tired climbing the hill. Oh, Noah, Noah, who are you talking to? I don't see anybody here. Tara, why did you come? Listen, Shem's son is born. The fourth one? I'll go and see him. Let me see the baby. Here he is, look at him. Oh. Oh. Lord, this child was born to serve you. Make him a righteous man who never condones sin. He's so cute. He'll be oh. like a lion. He'll conquer all his enemies. Oh. Here he is, Sarah. Oh. Not necessarily. Why wouldn't it be so? I will tell you why within the passing of a moon. Where are you going? I will tell you as soon as I come back. is mine. Mine, do you understand? It's mine!
Why is that woman chasing you out? She's my daughter. She took the flock, the money, and now the house. She took everything to give to her man. So what do I owe you for the thousand mares that I want to buy, then? Thousand mares? Why do you want to buy so many? You're very curious, my friend, but I'll tell you why. They serve me to arm a thousand riders. I like to make wars, to fight, kill, and to win. To have them, you have to give me three thousand of your best sheep. With the wool of your sheep, we will make good clothes which can be sold anywhere. Okay, a thousand for three thousand. But your sheep aren't enough for me. I also want you to give me those three beautiful women who are dancing. They are all it takes. Then consider them yours. Let's take him. Let's kill him. Yeah, yeah, let's get yeah, him. Get him. Oh. We're gonna kill him. Oh. We're gonna kill you. Oh. Oh. Where did you get them? They didn't pay their debts. They were sold with their family, but they're cheap. If you want them, I'll sell them to you, all right? Merchant, would you sell me their parents, too? No, I've already sold their parents to a farmer. He didn't want the children. He said they eat a lot and work too little. Then I'll have to buy just the children. Load them on the back of my donkey. This way, at least, they will be safe. <laughs> Why did you come here? What do you want to know? Don't you know of any nation where violence and sin don't reign? I will tell you, Noah. What you're looking for is not there. When the children of Adam multiplied, Jehovah saw that the wickedness of oh. man was great, and oh. that all his thoughts were only turned to evil. Jehovah saw this, and that's what you see now, Noah. I awaited to tell you this, and now I know. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Be silent. I have spoken to the Hermit Lord and asked him if he knows of a place where wickedness doesn't exist. And he told me there is no such place on earth. He told me only of the wickedness and evil thoughts of men. I will destroy them, Noah. I will destroy them, but it won't be the same for you. You build an ark of gopher wood, three stories tall, with a door on the side and covered by a roof. Pitch it inside out with asphalt. You'll get into the ark with your wife Sarah, your sons and their wives. Take into the ark a male and female of every kind of animal, birds too, and you'll take with you food enough to feed you all. In seven days I will cause it to rain for forty days and forty nights to destroy every living being that I have made. Brothers, this is what the Lord commanded me to do. But Noah, don't you think that the nearby tribes will make fun of us? And those in the city will also make fun of us when they find out. But Father, this is impossible. None of us knows how to build an ark, not even you. Jehovah has taught me just how to do it. Everybody knows that you believe in Jehovah and that you're a wise man. But you will lose your reputation because of this. Woman, my reputation is absolutely worthless before the word of Jehovah. And did Jehovah tell you where we would have to build this ark? No, but I know where we should build it. On the hill of big stones. That way the ark can be well anchored to the ground. I will help you, Noah. Do you want me of to? Of course I want you. You be quiet. These are things that should only be discussed by grown-ups. But I want to discuss things with you.
like children. Everything is simple in life when we know what to do. I obey Jehovah every day of my life and I will continue to do so. And you who are my dear family, you will obey him with me. This is my wish because it is the wish of Jehovah. Noah, we have always obeyed you. You are the father of us all. You are very wise. <laughs> If you can pay for it, all the wheat I have is yours. Aha. Uh -huh. <clears throat> all right. Hey there. You going back to the well, market, woman? I don't know. I don't know. It depends. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so what do you need all that wheat for, huh? <laughs> <laughs> to load it on a ship that will never sail the sea. Isn't that true, woman? This ship will never, never leave shore. Ha! Go and see <laughs> Noah's boat and you'll see the ship of a crazy man. <laughs> that boat will sail on water, you'll see. Jehovah said so, and you, you will cry. <laughs> it will sail on the grass and we'll all laugh. Okay, hold on the right. Push it up. Come in. Oh, oh, that's right. Oh, top oh, that's good. Put in the top. Put it up. Oh, there is a picture oh. of top for you. Thank you. Oh, snap it on. Yeah, nice. Come on, right. Slap on the top. Team break. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> Noah? Sarah, did you see? The ark is almost ready. We all worked very hard to get to this point. The Lord will appreciate this. I'm sorry to tell you at a time like this, Noah, but we have given away everything we had to buy wheat and seeds. There's nothing left. No, we have given away sheep, tents, horses, clothes, everything. We've got nothing left. Now the ark is built, how will we survive? We worked hard and it's all for nothing. Be quiet, woman. How can you speak like this? How do you dare? Do you doubt Jehovah's words? Uh, I promised him that you and our children would help me to finish the ark. I gave Jehovah my word. Forgive me, Noah. Forgive me. Almost all of them have paid, and those who haven't will be sold as slaves. Well done, well done. I have brought you 18 pieces of bronze and two of gold. Good. Well, you have to tell me about that crazy old man who's building an ark on top of the hill. So do you want to know how he got the money? Yes, how did he get it? Well, he sold everything he had. And now what on earth will he do? When he doesn't have any more money to pay off his debts, which will surely pile up, he will sell the men and women of his tribe as slaves. Oh! 
But these are wild animals, Grandfather. Yes, but Jehovah has made them all tame today. Don't you see? Come on, the time is nigh. Into the ark with you. It's Jehovah's oh, time. Let's go, women. Now it's your turn. In you go, too. Have they all come in? There are two more coming. Thank you, Lord. Thy will be done. Take away the gang. Well, all right, but what shall we do with him? Nothing. We don't care about him at all. He's too old. Huh? What are you doing, Ham? I'm really sorry, Father. I've promised the Lord that we will obey his will and that we'll stay inside the Ark until he calls us. What's wrong if we just take a look? Just so we know, then we close it back. But we promised Jehovah to obey his commands. We promised. Doesn't that mean anything to you? I'm sorry, Father. Brothers, the days established by Jehovah will soon end. We don't have any more bread, Noah. It's no matter, Sarah, no matter. Blessed be Jehovah for this last loaf of bread we have. We must trust him. Let's share the bread as good brothers and wait for his will to be done. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights. Waters covered the earth for 150 days until God remembered Noah and his family and the animals that were with him. He made a wind to pass over the earth and little by little, waters subsided and the ark rested on the mountains of Ararat. Now, off you go.
The raven flew far, but then returned to the ark for many days. But then one day, the raven didn't come back because the waters had dried up. Then Noah knew the great moment had come. So Noah decided to send a dove. And when the dove came back, bearing an olive branch, Here it is! Here it is! No one knew. The rain had stopped. Blessed be Jehovah. Blessed be he. Then the dove and its mate flew happily towards the sky. And now what do we do? And now we can open the ark and let everyone see the earth again. <laughs>